Children's, children's, children's. Everybody loves children's. But in chess, children's are the most hated creatures. Why? Why is that? Because of two reasons. Number one, it's pretty hard to beat them. They know theory pretty well and they are quite sharp. Number two, if you somehow lost to them, you're going to get trolled for eternity. Just like Magnus Carlsen lost the bullet match against 10 years old fitting master of Argentines and everybody's getting crazy and it is all over the media, news channel, everywhere. It is not even classical rap that blitz, just one plus zero bullet game and everybody is going crazy. Let me make you crazy too by showing you this game. Again for the introduction, on the white side we have Fede Master Faustier Oro. And with the black the legend, the myth, the magnificent Magnus Carlsen. So let's analyze this viral game briefly. Oro opens the game with d4 and Carlsen chooses the modern system with g6. Which is a good chess as Magnus wants to take him out of the theory and play the natural chess. So very standard knight to f3 and bishop to g7. And now Oro grabbed the whole center with e4. Here in this position Magnus has two main choices. Either he can play d6 to control the e5 square or he can go knight to f6 to have an alikine type of structure. And Magnus goes for knight to f6. So in the spirit of Ali Khan, e5, knight to d5, c4, and knight to b6. Black wants white to overextend his pawns and later attack it. Oro plays knight to c3 and Carlson attacks his central pawn with d6. So we have e takes d6, e takes d6, and now bishop to e2, so preparing kingside castle. So both of them castles and Magnus plays bishop to g4, so threatening to win a c4 pawn. And Oro strengthens it with b3. Here Magnus plays knight to c6 so attacking the d4 pawn and bishop to e3 by Oro so defending it. Now Magnus plays rook to e8 so putting the rook on the open e file and Oro challenges the light square bishop with h3. So Magnus grabs a knight and plays rook to b8 so whenever the knight moves b7 pawn will not be hanging. Oro makes a battery on d2 and now Magnus plays knight to e7, rook a to d1, knight to f5 and rook to e1. Now Magnus with his typical Magnus style trades everything on the e file and offers a queen trade. But this queen to e8 is a blunder as Magnus will lose a pawn on b7. He thought after c5 he is winning a pawn but Oro has knight to b5. Now let's see how Oro finishes it. Magnus attacks the bishop and bishop goes to f3. Magnus attacks the knight with a6 and Oro attacks back with d takes c5. And they trade their rook after a few moves. Now Oro is up a clear pawn and let's see how he did it. He first puts the bishop on e4 then brings the king closer. Then f4, f5 and a5. Both of them starting maneuvering their pieces on the better square but Magnus didn't expect the move which Oro was about to play. After king to f6 and knight to c3, Magnus was sure that Oro will not play knight to c1 as it is a backward knight move. So he pre-moved knight to a2 but Oro played knight to c1 and Magnus blunders the knight. Magnus tries to play on for the few more moves but it was quite hopeless so he resigned after a few more moves. So this was the famous bullet game. So if you like the game do like the video and subscribe the channel to show your love and support. So see you all in the next video.